Hello everyone! Now I know I don't usually upload on Fridays, typically I always upload on Monday, but today's video is special because in today's video we'll be checking out Avatar The Last Airbender, the 15th Anniversary Steelbook Limited Edition on Blu-ray. Now today is the 15th anniversary of Avatar The Last Airbender. This set did come out on the 18th, which is actually when I'm filming it, so I haven't opened it yet, I just got it in the mail. I decided to postpone the uploading of the video to the 21st for the actual event. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here we have the front, first time in Steelbook. It does contain a little excerpt from the Rise of Kyoshi. That's pretty nice. Great artwork on this. Here we have the front, rings out of the plastic. Very nice artwork on here, kind of embossed symbols here of water, earth, fire, and air. Now mine did have a little bit of a dent right here, but that's okay. This is a soft case, it's not really a hard one, but it's still nice. I think it'll it'll age pretty nicely. Here we have the spine. Not sure if you can tell, but on the symbols there, it does have a little bit of uh, some dirt, brown dirt on there, makes it look aged. Here we have the back. And here we have the spines of the steelbooks themselves. Book Water, Earth, and Fire. And they all just slide out of the packaging. Here's a look of it without the steelbooks. And we'll start off with the Rise of Kyoshi. Now this isn't a graphic novel, it's just um, a little book. So if you want to read it, just a little booklet or just a little excerpt from the book. Now you can get this by itself if you want the full experience. But it's a pretty nice little teaser for our Avatar Kyoshi. We if she was the longest living avatar. Great artwork on this. Here we have the back. Here we have the first steel book. Book one, water. Here we have the front. Nice shot of Katara. Yep, spine. And the back. You might have noticed some of these images on the promotional art. So I actually thought that these were the front of the packaging, but they're actually the back. It's so very great artwork. We have Aang with water bending. And going inside, these are just the same exact discs that you can get on the standard edition which I will show a comparison afterwards. So everything is the same on these from those editions as well, but you just get some nicer packaging. The one thing I like about this one is that each one is individual. So if you want to, you know, go to a specific season that you don't have to just fiddle through a bunch of discs, you can just pick out each, each set by themselves. There's some background art on these. Uh, I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up on camera. Try to get it in as best I can, or maybe I'll insert some um, B-roll photos or video. Next up, here we have Book 2, Earth. Nice shot of Toph there. And the Badger Mole on the bottom. Very nice. Just love the artwork on these. It's amazing. Here we have the Spawn. And back, another shot of Aang. The earth Bending. And going inside, we've got the same blue discs. And here I will insert some pictures of the background art. I have a nice shot of Toph there. Very nice. Great artwork once again. And last but not least, we have Book 3, Fire. And this is the artwork that you have on the box. Just great shot of Aang here in the Avatar state, wielding all four elements. Amazing artwork, it's incredible. Here we have the spine. And the 
back shot of Aang firebending now if I had to say any complaint or I guess a nitpick I'd say it's very minor is that I wish that they would have done Aang in his invasion outfit from book three but maybe they just kept him in his air nomad attire for consistency but still very nice artwork and going inside we have same boo discs just with book three fire on them and here we have the background art looks like a shot of zuko very nice kind of wish they would have put a little bit more detail into the background artwork it's kind of um, harder to see but it's still nice that they even put artwork on there to begin with and not just a plain background and one of the neat things about this set is if you put each of the steelbooks together, it makes a picture. So it, they all line up together and have Aang learning all of the elements, or all three of the elements, water, earth, and fire. So if you wanted to display them on a shelf, you have a nice picture. And another interesting thing you can do is you don't have, is if you put, you can put them in any order you want. So if you put them if you want to do water first, you can do it and have Katara on the front there, or you can even do the reversal and have Aang. It's a pretty nice shot. Or you can do Toph or Aang, although that one kind of gets cut, cut off halfway there, but still great shot. Or you could just leave it with the artwork it was advertised with for book three. Or also have it with Aang, which is another great shot. I like how they thought of, of, you know, maybe they thought of that you could do that. That people would want to show off the artwork. So if you wanted to change it up, you can, and it fits nicely. And now, just to show off how much of an Avatar fan I am, I have the complete collection on DVD. And the first set on Blu-ray. Now this did come with a slipcover, but mine was damaged when I bought it, so I chunked it. So now we'll do a little comparison between the three. So here we have the complete set on DVD. Nice shot of Aang there. Spine, which this is about the same size, roughly about the same in width as the limited edition set. Limited edition is a little chunkier, but about the same. And here we have the back. Very nice artwork on this as well. Shots from the show and everything, very nice. And here we have the spine. And here we have all of the individual books and seasons. Of course, book one, water air and fire i like how each one has you know each element for the books and this one does have ang in his invasion attire very nice and i'm just going to do a quick loop through of the boxes so here we have book one a shot of ang katara and sokka the spine and the back same image of katara and sokka and going inside, we have some great artwork on the discs. Uh, disc 1 with Aang. Disc 2 with Katara. Disc 3 with Sokka. And disc 4 with Zuko. Disc 5 with Aang, Momo, and Appa. And disc 6 just with Aang. Here we have book 2. It's Aang in Earth Kingdom uniform. Background shot of Toph. Spine and back, and here we have disc one with Aang and Zuo. Very nice artwork on this. Disc two, Aang doing some earth bending. Disc three, which is a close up of Aang. Disc four, another shot of Aang, and a bonus disc with Aang in the Avatar state. And here we have book three, fire. A shot of Aang going to firebending. Zuko in the background. Spine. In the back. Here we 
have disc one with the Aang. So he has hair. Very nice image. I remember when I first saw the first episode of season three when it came out, and Aang had hair. I was completely surprised. That that shocked me. We have disc two with Sokka in his invasion gear. Disc three with Aang. Remember when the Day of Black Sun episodes came out, I remember all the promos and everything on Nickelodeon and all the all the stuff they were doing for that. It was like a huge event. We have disc four, Hang in the Avatar State. And the bonus disc, another shot of Aang in the Avatar State. Now here we have the Blu-ray. The first release of the Blu-ray, I guess you could say the standard edition. I will insert an image of the cover, of the slip cover, since I don't have mine anymore. But here is the art that you get when the cover is removed. Still great artwork. Kind of shows Aang um, not in the Avatar state, still doing the same pose as the slip cover. We have a shot of Katara and Sokka and Toph and Zuko. We have the spine. And the back. And going inside, you just have the same discs from the limited edition set. They just carried these over to the limited edition. And yeah, I guess some of you could say, well, it's easier with this one because, you know, it's just a flipper. You don't have to worry about the stacked discs. But say you want to go to season two or you want to go to season three, you have to flip through all of these and figure out which one's discs one and two and, and three and all that. And... You know, it's just kind of a hassle in a way. Uh, that's the way I look at it, anyway. But if you can't get the limited edition, you can still get the standard Blu-ray or the DVD set. Those are still readily available. That's it for today's video. Once again, we have the limited edition steelbook collection of Avatar The Last Airbender, the complete series on Blu-ray. Along with Avatar The Last Airbender, all three releases. You have the DVD, the standard Blu-ray, and the limited edition. The complete collection. Now I might get Korra just to complete everything. I'm not a huge fan of that show, but I just might get it just to round off everything and maybe give it a second chance. And we don't have any questions today, but if you would like to submit any questions down below in the comments of anything you want to know, my thoughts on any movies or TV shows, or just want to ask me any questions, Leave them in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed what you see, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any more of these videos. And if you feel like helping out, you can donate via PayPal in the link below. If you don't want to do that, perfectly understandable. I appreciate you keep coming back and watching the videos. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day!